I wanted to share more about the secret codes of the gay community when you try to connect with people who are tops or bottoms, especially when you go to a bar, a gay bar. Uh, people would wear their keys on the right side when they were a bottom and they're looking for a top, and they'd wear them on the left side when they were a top looking for a bottom. But you know, people in the gay community got to the point where they're more inventive than that. That wasn't enough to signal if you're a top or a bottom because sometimes a top or a bottom at what? So the gay community got more creative and wanted to signal more about who the person was, not just that they were uh, engaged in a top or a bottom, but that they were engaged in top or bottom uh, in oral sex or anal sex or maybe bondage. So we developed a hanky code. Some people call it bandana code because there's a work handkerchiefs with the little designs on them. And they come in all different colors. And we used all those colors, believe me. Uh, for example, if somebody had a dark blue hanky on the right side, that meant that they were into anal sex as the receiver. On the left, they were the giver. If it was a light blue, it would refer to oral sex. And of course, if you were giving or receiving, right or left. Um, green meant that you were a hustler. If you put it on the right side, it means you were looking for, um, like a prostitute, you're willing to pay. If you had it on the left side, you wanted the money. Um, I know that yellow was in like water sports. Gray was in bondage, uh, and if you wanted to get tied up, you'd wear it on the right side. If you wanted to be the tire and the top, you'd wear it on the left side. And of course, black was like S&M. So um, all those hanky codes were very popular, and I don't see them anymore. I mean, they were used in, not so much in the 70s, but in the 80s and 90s a lot. And you could signal exactly what kind of sexual activity you wanted and, and what you were willing to do in that activity. So uh, it was very interesting. It was almost like early on, we gay people would signal uh, that they were gay by having an earring on the right side. And they only had one. If you had two, that meant you were maybe a cross-dresser or something. Then the Latino community picked up on that and said, oh, that's pretty faddish. Yeah, let's, I'm going to wear an earring, you know? Uh, and then so we kind of really lost earrings altogether. Everybody now, all men are wearing earrings who just want to be, you know, uh, chic and up to date and, and what looks good. And the same thing with hankies. I remember being on Redondo Beach Pier. This is going way back. And I was just strolling on the pier and a young man, well, almost my age, we we're both like uh, mid-20s, uh, he was wearing a blue hanky out of his right pocket. That meant that he was into oral sex and he wanted to do it to somebody. Very attractive guy. So I went up to him and uh, I said, boy, I sure like your hanky there. And he says, oh yeah, it's the latest thing. I wear all kinds of hankies, you know. Boy, that's, that, that's, that's how you're hip and everything. You know, you have to wear these hankies every place you go. I said, oh boy, there goes that, there goes that one. But um, as far as keys or hanky goes, if you wore them in a gay bar, uh, people probably will remember and know, you know what that is. So that was one secret code system, code system, where we could tell people what we wanted, what we were looking for, and what we're willing to do. So it was pretty communicative.